right. Go. Last thing I need is for those things to see me better. Now there's the place to hide. Hey! In case you didn't notice, it wasn't exactly a leisurely stroll over here. You dropped it. You find it! Hold your horses. That T-Rex is still out there. Okay, so we know where it is. Go get it! Yeah, I think I'll wait until our friend there leaves to find a new chew toy. I don't know if we have time. If the embryos go bad, they're worthless! The embryos are worthless to me if I get eaten by a damn lizard. If you're not man enough to get the embryos back, I'll do it myself. Hang on. The deal is, I hold on to the embryos until we reach your contact. I know! And instead, you drop them! Yeah, well, crap. If you're gonna use logic. Just go! And hurry! a nice girl like you to a place like this. Ah, oh, damn it! <laughs> I got it! Somebody tell Carl Lewis I got some training tips for him! Okay, great. Nice moves out there. Hey, thanks. Almost makes up for dropping it in the first place.
probably a rat or something. Keep moving. No, I saw eyes just like that before I was beaten. I won't go through that again. Big, shiny eyes? You saw them too? Not here, but yeah. Go on. Get out of here. Come on, we gotta keep moving. No way! Not until I can see where I'm going. Ugh. Okay, we can't go back outside because of our old friend Rexy, but maybe we can get the lights on. It seems like those things, whatever they are, like to stick to the shadows. We're in luck. This looks like a power panel right here. What's the holdup? It's nothing. It's just a different, uh, model than I'm used to, is all. So, you're stuck. What about that thing there? Maybe you have to prime it before turning it on, like an oil pump or something. <laughs> Look, no offense, but this type of electrical system is probably way ahead of anything you've seen before. I got this. Why don't you just read the instructions? They're right there, no? Relax. This thing is just a glorified fuse box. All right, I got it now. Close your eyes. You're about to lose your... Night vision. What's going on? Dad? Over here, Jess. It's all right. The backup generator wasn't meant to last this long, that's all. No, that's not it. We should have been fine for days. How the hell was I supposed to know open meant turn everything off? I mean, it's counterintuitive. You would know if you read the instructions. Why don't you yell a little louder? I think there's a dinosaur on the other side of the island that didn't hear you. Jeez. Whatever. There's a close, right? There's a close, right? Yeah. <laughs> Close that crap right up. Yeah, that's right. Who's your... Oh, oh, come on. Rocket Jurassic Park's only unofficial radio station. Just a reminder before we sign off, Parklings, if you're not on the boat by seven, you're not going to be on the boat at all. I've got a little something special for all you last-minute packers out there. Personal favorite of mine. And I'll see you all on board. Damn it, Artie. He's not still here, is he? No. From the sound of it, he queued up this last bit of tape and took off. So here's a little something to get you ready to set sail. Artie, this show is over. Laura, you are my new favorite person. <laughs> You've forgiven me for fixing the lysine problem? Don't push it. Holy crap, Oscar. Did you just take one of those things out by hand? You're supposed to be at the crash site. Yeah, uh, the plan didn't factor in an angry T-Rex, so we had to change it. 
I didn't think to engage it in a knife fight, sorry. We have to change the plan. That's right. I unlocked the mystery behind the shaving cream can. Turns out, little Miss Sunshine here is smuggling dino embryos off the island. What? I don't buy it. You don't have the skills to pull off a heist like that. She knows her business, Oscar. You said the same thing about that waitress in Bogota's cooking. That wasn't her fault. That was Seminilla. They're real. My client had someone on the inside, a man named Nedri. He didn't show, so they sent me to find the embryos. I'm the backup plan. Well? Squares with what I know. They're searching San Jose for this Nedri guy. Thought he was on the last boat. They can stop the search. He's dino food. Let me guess, you have a plan. Yeah, well, turns out these things are worth a lot of money to the right people. I mean, a lot. You're going along with her? Hey, I'm not doing anything unless you're down. But come on, Oscar. Do you really think InGen gives a rat's ass about us? Look what happened to B-Team, to Decaf. Their families are gonna get a puny check, a gag order, and nothing else. You're pretty self-righteous for a thief. I wouldn't be a thief if you hadn't stolen this island from my people in the first place. I didn't steal anything. The Costa Rican government rented this place to InGen. And you did their dirty work, didn't you? I did my job. Just like I'm doing now. Really? And how many people are you going to kill today? Shut the hell up, or I'll start counting with you. Whoa, whoa, no fighting. Save it for the dinos, huh? Do I gotta remind you we're working against the clock? There's no time to save these people and be her errand boys before this place turns to ground zero. What do you mean ground zero? Nothing. We could do it, Oscar. We've got a call for another helicopter anyway, so one of us takes the eggheads back to the mainland and the other takes her to meet her contact. Let me guess. That last part would be up to you. You just tell InGen that I bought it like the rest of the guys they sent. Then you and I hook up later to split our cut. I trust you, but I don't trust her. Okay, Betty, count me in. Just keep her the hell away from me. He's not keeping me anywhere. But I don't want to be any closer to you than I have to. Now, now. Play nice, you two. All right, let's move out. Take it slow and quiet. Let's not start this again. I respect your opinion, Jerry. Although, to be honest, I'm a little surprised at your lack of regard for the animals. It's not that I don't care about them, Laura. It's just there are so many unintended consequences that come with your decision. We can't keep this a secret, Laura. Shit. We need contingency plans. We'll need to monitor things outside of the park. Where is it? I know it. <laughs> yes. Amazing. 
I've never seen them afraid before. That was awesome! Uh, no problem. Okay, hon. Let the man breathe. Yoder! You're alive! We're alive? I'm surprised you guys lasted five minutes without me and Oscar. Thank you. Forget it. Oh my god, you're bleeding! Are you okay? No worries. Belongs to one of them. You killed one of them? With a knife? That's so badass. Well, hey, I outran a T-Rex. It's nothing. Just another fight. But they're so strong. I mean, how did you... How much can you lift? I wouldn't know. Not really a gym kind of guy. You're not? Dude, you're huge! Well, just because I don't work out doesn't mean I don't work. He just doesn't want to admit to his Sasquatch heritage. Who was it again? Granddad? Great-granddad. Maybe it was your mother. <laughs> okay, stop it now. You aren't fooling me. What now? You can pretend to be a hero all you want, but we both know what you really are. You're right. We do. Everyone, we have a problem. What's wrong, Laura? You've seen the flickering lights, now the steam eruptions. Something's gone wrong with the island's geothermal power plant. That's not our problem. When the power plant explodes, it will be. It's that bad? Everything I've read about the system says it's supposed to shut itself down if something goes wrong with the steam pressure. The fact that it hasn't means that the pressure will build unchecked. It'll pop like a balloon and take half the island with it. Are you sure the power plant is the problem? It's the steam that clinches it for me, Jerry. The power could fail for a lot of reasons, but the steam comes straight from the power plant. Can we get to the power plant from here? I'm completely turned around. Yes, I've been here before. It's down this way. We really ought to get moving. Well, I guess spare no expense didn't apply to the island's largest potential safety risk. The plant itself was well designed. It's the procedure that's flawed. As I recall, only two or three people on the island were trained to safely operate the main power controls. So, turning the power off and on requires special training? Yeah, Leon. How can we stop the power plant from exploding? We have to do something, and quickly, but I won't know exactly what until we get there. No time. Say goodbye to your dinosaurs, Doc. You can dig up the fossils later. When the power plant explodes, it'll take us with it. Unless you have a spare helicopter ready to lift off. Uh, this just keeps getting better and better. Listen up. You're gonna show me the corridor that goes to the power plant. I'm gonna scout ahead and make sure there's no dinosaur party happening when we get there. Can I come? I know I can help. You're staying right here where I can keep an eye on you. Hey, I saved you, remember? Besides, those things are afraid of him. You wandered off, Jess. Oscar doesn't mind, do you? Oscar? Hmm. When I saw the helicopter crash into the jungle, I thought you guys were goners. We're fine. Hey, uh, about before, the hostage thing? I'm sorry. I was only trying to protect myself. Me and the Mercs, we worked it out. Worked it out? How? Don't worry about it. We're okay. For now. You outran a T-Rex, huh, Yoder? I sure did. You know, not everyone has the training to pull something like that off, let alone the raw speed. I know, right? That's what I thought when I outran her yesterday. That's great! So everyone's friends now, huh? <laughs> I wouldn't put it like that. Then how would you... <gasps> no way! Did you guys make out? We've decided that we can all work together. Let's put it that way. Hey, Oscar's back. What'd you find, buddy? Always clear, but the door to the plant is locked. Don't that just figure? Either of you got a key? I'm afraid not. How about a smoke? I wish. I swore I had some on me, but... Jess? Something to share? I'm sorry. I, I just wanted to borrow them. But, but then the dinosaur was there, and I threw them, and I think it ate them. Jessica Marie Harding! First, you get caught stealing a t-shirt from the mall. 
Then you steal binoculars from the park and lie about it to my face. Now you've taken Laura's cigarettes? You let the raptors get to us because you wanted to smoke? I was all nervous and, and anxious and stuff, and I thought it would help. That's not the point. It's not just the smoking, it's, it's stealing. It's not listening. Rem Remember, the main reason you're on this island is because your mother thinks I might be able to straighten you out. Somehow. Right. Not because you want to see me or anything. Look, you don't have to worry about me, Dad. I'm almost 15. I can take care of myself. I don't need you or Mom or anyone. Oh, honey, I know it feels like that. Especially at your age, but you're not an adult. You might be a young woman, uh, uh, physically, but emotional maturity uh, takes time. Okay? I'm sorry, Dad, but how many times have you been married? Your kids? Have you even talked to Sarah lately? This year, even? Should you be lecturing anyone about emotional maturity? Damn. Uh, plant's gonna blow, right? We ain't got time for this after school special crap. That vamp. It may lead to the other side of the door. Hate to break it to you, Doc, but ain't none of us fitting through there. Maybe. It's locked, all right. Thanks for double checking. At least when I'm in trouble, she has to look up from her bridge game for long enough to bail me out. Yeah, well, you know what? I can't bail you out if you get us eaten by dinosaurs. Don't leave my sight until we're off the island. Missing something? What? No. Just wondering why they left the transport cages here. I bet. That's enough, Jess. It's only until my boyfriend's death metal band takes off, then we're getting married. Mom's already Jerry, signed the emancipation please? papers. A word? I'm not laughing. Someone who claims she's ready to be treated like an adult Jerry, probably please. shouldn't be such a little I snot. Really also, need to I'm speak with you. Enough! When we get you- All right, enough! I apologize, I'm sorry. Jess, we will finish this later. How can I help? We have a situation. The only way around the door to the power plant is that vent. And Jess is the only one of us who might fit inside. Absolutely not. My daughter has clearly shown that she can't be trusted with her own safety. She doesn't leave my sight from now on. We're just gonna have to find another salute. Jess? Jesse? Jess? It's okay. Pretty sure the dinosaurs haven't been using that vent. What vent? What? What dinosaurs? Oh my god. Jess. Well done, Jess. Thanks. Okay, listen up. We need to release the steam pressure to prevent any more buildup. What are we looking for? A power console. And probably a master release valve. Look, Dad, I'm sorry. I was just trying to... You were just trying to ignore everything I said! Now just stay where I can see you this time. Okay. I will. I mean it. Sorry. See that large valve wheel up there? I think that's the pressure release we're looking for. I'll handle it. Wait until I turn the power off to release the pressure. Otherwise the system won't properly reset. Got it. Look at all those transformers. The plant produces enough power to run a small city. That looks like the power console, up there, at the top of the ladder. Can't pump the capacitor until the steam is vented. Too risky. We don't want to close the circuit without charging the capacitor first. All right, 
Looks like we press to open the circuit in order to turn the power off. Here goes nothing. Press to open. That does make sense. It does now. We need to vent the steam before we turn the power on. Could you guys give me a hand with this valve? It won't budge. Sure. We open pickle jars, too. Okay, on three. One, two, three! Stop! Stop! We got this! Oh, I mean stop! It shouldn't take that much force to turn the valve. There must be some kind of motorized assist for it. If you force it, you could break something. I'll have a look. If there is a motor, you'll need to disconnect it before it'll turn manually. I'm glad that lava flow is so far below us. Any closer and the heat would be unbearable. That compartment there. That could house the motor we're looking for. I'll check it out. Sandy, I guess the need to yank that thing out in a hurry was anticipated. I got it! Perfect. Let's try it again. That's it! The steam has been vented. All we need now is to turn the power back on. You, uh, need any help? I'm quite capable, thank you. One. Two. Three. Four. Is that the... It's the press to close light. It means the charge is pumped. Right. I'm going to close the circuit and turn the power back on. Please don't blow up, please don't blow up, please don't blow up. I think you'll find we have nothing to worry about. What's happening? Laura? Nothing to worry about, huh? It's all right, everyone. It's just a fail-safe measure to protect the plant. We probably set it off when we disconnected the motor or something else. Everything is just fine. If you say so. Before they can cut you off! I'm sorry! The door controls! They're completely fried! Thank you. Should these doors be open manually? I'm afraid not. The only way we can get them open is by using the controls by the doors where we came in. I'm on it. No! No way! That's suicide! He's right. The raptors wouldn't have come back if they were still afraid of you. I'll just have to give them a new reason to be scared, then. Can we at least talk about this? You know damn well I'm the only one's got a chance to get to that control panel. Maybe, but who says you have to go alone? I do. Look, Billy, we gotta get these people out of here. I figure they got no chance with both of us gone. Crap. Okay, I want everyone to hang tight while I figure this out. You're going to be fine. What's the plan? Working on it. I'll let you know.
could get down that way. I've made jumps that wide before. All right. I want you to tempt those raptors by creeping down the ladder. Oh, okay. Before, I thought you were nuts, but that sounds like a great plan. You got something better? You can always throw the doctor lady down there. That would distract them. Don't go. You could die. Don't count me out yet. Give me a diversion, will ya? Couple of seconds at least. Got it. Hey. Thanks. He makes it back. Try not to worry. The man has skills. I thought you hated him. But I respect his ability. If anyone can do this, he can. Oscar! Company! Hey! Hey, hey, check this out, huh? Nice, tasty drumstick! Too slow, you dumb lizard! Actually... That's it. Just keep focused on Billy. That was their fear response. Something about this place scares them. But even if they weren't scared, you look ready to hold them off. Thanks. I'm glad I didn't have to. Are you 
Okay, Billy? What the hell do you think? What Oscar did was very brave. When we get back, we're gonna make sure he is duly recognized for his- You think I care about that crap? Let's just give him some space. Five minutes! Just- just give me five minutes and I'll be fine! I know what you people think of us. Bunch of blue-collar grunts, right? Bunch of high school dropouts? We're replaceable? We don't think that! We don't! Tell him! Oscar was worth a thousand of you, but he knew it! And he still died to save your ass! So don't tell me how you're gonna honor him! You don't deserve okay, to! Okay, okay! What can we do? Nothing! I said I'll be fine, remember? All I need is space. I know we've got a lot on our minds, but whatever spooked those raptors might be nearby. Laura's right. I need everyone to be alert while she and I search the room. What is that? It smells like the jungle. Only more rotten. Jess, you don't want to see this. Nima, could you- Yeah. Come with me, Jess. Try not to look, okay? Look for bite marks. Bite marks? Yes, yes, they look just like... Just like the ones Nima had, I know. He's alive, but only technically. He's paralyzed and almost certainly brain dead. This is the Venom's final stage. Laura. Eggs. It is a nest. I thought the structure looked like the nest of a cassowary, maybe an emu, but without eggs, I couldn't be sure. Yes, but... but they're inside him. If you'd asked me five minutes ago, I'd have told you such behavior didn't exist outside of class and secta, but Whoa. now... He's a human being! I I'm sorry, you're absolutely right. This guy's dressed a lot like you, Billy. Does he have a tattoo on his arm? Like mine? Yes, yes he does. What the hell's going on over there? Is he alive or not? He's alive, but in a comatose state. Something has laid eggs in his abdomen. Something what? A victim was being kept alive by- Decaf! A... I'm sorry? The victim is Daniel Kafaro, another throwaway grunt. Oh my god. I knew they'd gotten out somehow, but I never thought... Knew about this? You knew? I'll kill you! 